menu. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Frozen Frontier, everybody. Uh, I oh, the, the music stopped. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Let's uh, yeah, let's kill some time until we can get back on the road, right? There we go. Oh, he stopped all right. again. Uh, all right, so you guys have unknown amount of time until Zaz returns, and you're just gonna hunker down on the fort and just wait. Keep, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I, gonna... um, right. I have a question. You basically you came down here for like two months to kill a ghost and then sit around for two months. Is that is that One how month. this went down? One month. One month, and we looked for some yetis, but we didn't find any. Uh, no, because Zaz wasn't going to return for two months, right? Uh, I guess you know you did wait up in the fort for a little for about a month. Okay, yeah. So you came yeah. down here for a month to just like kill a ghost and then chill out uh, while yes. you waited for your well, mom to come okay, pick you up. Okay, the plan was to do more at first, and then it turned out that um, we had all this gold and we didn't really want to like. It was kind of weighing us down, and yeah. Okay. It, it was uh, it was partially the big haul that we got that. No, that. We, we had two objectives. We had three, in fact. We had kill a ghost, check out the lumber mill. And look for yep. yetis, and we've done all three. Okay. okay. And we didn't want a repeat of the sleet incident where all of our gold got stolen. Yeah. 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 This is true. That and if we find too thing. much more, that's going to be what what we have to like risk is leaving our treasure behind and immediately having it stolen again. Mm -hmm. Because this dragon just casts a locate object every day and says nearest treasure hoard. I mean, so hopefully, I, 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 we need to learn mastery. And head off down the west side of the mountain, ASAP. The west side of the island, continent. Okay, let me make a crap ton of rolls while you just sit here in your fort. Nice. Um, what are we looking for? I'm sure that can't be a problem. Now we've actually got lookout. Yeah. Right. Grimes. So Grimes that. will be on patrol duty. I'll probably set snares and things again. Ferris is using his perception. Grimes, Grimes uses his perception for lookout while Ferris uses his perception to try and help William finally make some progress. I might dick off at some point. Right? Like, care to be more specific? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I got some magic to do, but when I get my magic done, I might just dick off if we're sitting around the, the fort for a while. I do what? <sighs> um, I think I might look for ley lines or something along that line. Is that like with the divining rods or something? I could make a divining rod if that would work. Yeah. Uh, what are they called? Uh, the Final Fantasy. What is now? that called where you look for water with the little fork? Dowsing rod. Dowsing. Dowsing. Yeah. Do you, is that is that what a ley line is like? Do you douse for ley lines? Mm, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> so the first three days are pretty chill. Okay, so three days worth of rolling stuff. Um, I am <laughs> attempting to create amber. Um, so I have all this resin, right? And so I we started researching the um, the quick, like rapid decay of the of the trees. So uh, I might borrow a hatchet or something at some point during the day and go like hack at a tree, study it, and try to to get the the pattern of this decay down and attempt to learn that. So uh, first day, 54. Second day, 64. Third day, 94. Um, probably do a couple more days of, of trying to um, master this this skill. Can you describe it to me one more time? So like what we did at the end of last session, we, we mm -hmm. harvested a bunch of resin. So I've I've taken I've taken to the study of these bodies and how they rapidly decay. Mm -hmm. And I've applied that to we know that the trees are dead. And I think that you told us back before that when we cut the tree it ages rather quickly in front of our eye. But it might not. It might just be dead. Um, but we know that the body is preserved and then it rapidly decays very quickly. Um, mm -hmm. and it has this magical effect on it. And so I'm trying to create the magical effect of rapid aging on the, the sap that we, the resin that we've collected from the living portion of the trees. Right, right. Okay. Uh, with those rolls, 54, 64, and 94, you are still not quite getting it. Yeah, um, yeah, I figured as much. Yeah. Uh, so on the fourth day, 
So bef I, oh, I've yes. got the area trapped pretty well. I don't know if that will matter. So by three days, there should be 24 traps of okay. various kinds. Do you have any and rope they, left? They, How have you used all your rope to make all these traps? Um, I got plenty. Let's see. Actually, that, that maybe that's most of it. And then, what were we saying? Like 10 feet of twine per... I got 170 feet of twine still and 100 feet of rope. So okay. that's plenty. That's probably and most... And the, the twine are being used to make like small like animal traps, right? Small and the rope animal is being traps, used and to and make traps. And I probably got trip wires on entrances to the keep or like the streets leading to the main town. If I could rig up some bells to those trip wires. Is that a thing we have? Or like bits of metal? Maybe just trip wires. So there should be some probability that any monster that tries to ambush us wanders in and makes a racket. And then I'll, yeah. Oh, okay. So on the fourth day, which is actually the first of May, uh, and it is a blustery ass day here. It's a moderate day. Uh, Ferris, you're, you're on the wall kind of watching while William is trying to hack at Grimes with his sword and Grimes keeps just walking away from him. Um, <laughs> Does he train with Grimes? Is that, I thought it was- uh, Maybe not. Like, maybe the other way around. Maybe, maybe he's slashing out a phantom Grimes in his head. Uh, <laughs> he's been chasing after your after image this whole time. You spot what looks to be a group of gnolls that are coming along the, um, that are walking through Saltport itself. You can see them like in the, the main drag of town. Is this me or is this Ferris? That's Ferris. Oh, I see it. Okay, yeah. I thought I thought it was switched. Okay, um, and they're just walking through town. They don't look like they've noticed us. No. Okay, um, I'm gonna head down then and kind of. Actually, I'll probably watch for a minute or two and see where it looks like they're going. I want to gauge that first. They are walking away from the ocean down the main street in town, kind of just towards the woods. Okay, um, I will head down and relay that to the party. Say it looks like they're heading out of town. Might just want to let them go. I don't think we have any reason to uh, to stop them. I mean, where did they come from if they're heading out? Looks like they were coming from the ocean. Perhaps they were walking along the shore. Hmm. We expect the gnolls a lot. I'm not sure there's much more that they could... Um, help us with, but um, it couldn't hurt to speak with them. I mean, it could. They, they could try to kill us. It could hurt the gnolls, maybe. But at this point, I could do with an actual fight rather than swinging around wooden swords. Yes, perhaps you'll learn by doing. I'm getting rather frustrated with this whole endeavor, Faris, and I'm not sure I can keep stomaching your, your jabs. It's just Aww. part of the learning process, William. Surely you had a you had an instructor. I mean, did he did he pat you on the head every time you you successfully did a pirouette? <laughs> Go in at the Grimes. Let's let's approach the Nulls. I I climb to the top of the wall with my horn. All right. And I uh, I blow the horn. Okay. And go, like, go like this. Well. Let's go, Grimes. Uh, when the horn echoes through the valley around you and out towards the the, uh, the town, you can see the gnolls react kind of in surprise and looking around and instantly scatter into buildings on the other side of the road, uh, disappearing from sight. Oh, yeah. You guys are pretty far from them. Uh, you know, you're up in the keep a little ways away, so you can head down into the town to find them. Yeah, but I you... think we'll go like part of the way and then Ferris will, will recommend stopping so that we have like, we don't want to like get right up in their faces, right? For, for mean, both of our safeties. I think that if these guys don't know that we're friends, then maybe we shouldn't see, speak them, like speak to them. If they know we're friends, they might come and speak to us. If they don't, then it's probably gonna end up in a fight, in which case, leave them be. How Whatever many happens. have been? Uh, it's been three days since you got back. And I've had a complete bed rest, so I can say two HP a day. Uh, no, you days. were setting up traps, so okay. regular resting. Have All I right. got any days of healing in, or um, have you been rolling training days for every day? I've been rolling training. Okay. Yep. Uh, so you, the five gnolls and one wolf with them 
uh, are scattered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, yeah, I think we go like part way down, and right. you know, Grimes is probably shouting some stuff in Arky Barky, and Ferris is kind of standing off to the side a little bit in case he needs the help. We have two dogs with us, don't we? You do. We have the yard with you. You have Comet and Cupid with you. Yeah, mm-hmm. probably with William. Ferris doesn't go near the dogs. Mm. If they don't want to speak, just leave them, guys. Yeah, so I think we like... We haven't even tried yet. They heard a horn and scattered. What'd you expect? Fine. Let's let's see if we can find them, but it looks like they're trying to hide from us. So let's... uh, I guess we'll walk through the town and and Grimes to the general area, and Grimes can call out that we wish to parlay. Sure. So you begin to walk through the town, Grimes. What are your words? Oi! (laughs) Oi! Oi. <laughs> That's just it. I just oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, ve. Oh. 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 God, what was that song? I don't know. Never mind. Um, eventually, one of the gnolls uh, steps out from a, a building standing before you, just kind of in the middle of the road. A big yellow stripe down its front, a spear in mm-hmm. one hand, and, and that's about it. Naked mm. as the day he was born. <laughs> Covered in fur. Greetings. That's, yeah. Uh, the knoll looks at you expectantly. What, what are you doing here in Saltport? What are you doing here in Saltport? I look to William. What did it say? I asked what he's doing here. What did it say? We're doing. He asked what we're doing here. Tell it that we killed the ghost and now we're waiting for a ship. We are here um, to. We have banished the uh, the ghost that haunts this place. This is this is our town now. The, I mean, gnolls are weird creatures, right? They're canine in origin-ish. So their facial expressions don't quite match over to the same as humans, but you can definitely see there's a a visible, but somewhat subdued reaction on its face when you claim to have been the one to kill the ghost. Uh, And then it begins to sort of nod its head and give like a wheezing. (laughs) If you, um, if you come in peace, you are free to I'd travel Sorry. the streets of this town. Have your have you spoken with have you heard tale of us? Mere pack members. The Perhaps. null nods its head up and down. Tell it that we wish to speak to Manji, if he would come here to visit with us. My Chief wishes to speak to Manji. If he would come here to, to treat with us. Tell them we already visited that tower once. We already visited your tower once. That, that sounds kind of like a threat, William. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Is, Mon- is Manji at the tower? Uh, it shakes its head at you without saying anything verbally. What's it, what's it say? It doesn't want, they don't want to meet? He hasn't said anything. You can get ears. What did the head shake mean? <laughs> I mean, Manji's not at the tower. He must have some other... Ah. Well, I'd still like to speak with this, this Manji, and I assume they don't want to give away their location, so... It makes sense if they come and visit us. How long are here? Another week? Two? Two what weeks, do you maybe. want with us? It growls. Uh, with you? If you stay out of our way, nothing. We can... We Why can do you exist. want to speak to our pack leader? Because he's the one who can negotiate on your behalf, is he not? Why do we want to speak to Manji? I ask in common. <laughs> you say, um... Hmm. Beats me. 
Well, uh, I feel like one, scheme. one spooky want, wizard is enough. We want to, we, we wish to kill Sleeth and perhaps Monji can offer assistance, even if it's just information. Hmm. My chieftain fancies himself a dragon slayer. Mm. He thinks that Manji may uh, know some things about Sleet. No more than the rest of us. We all live under one sky. Hmm. One snowy sky. Beautiful sky. We need a plan to kill Sleet. Perhaps if the Gnolls work with him, they could lure him to a, a, a favorable location for the battle. Do you That's, do you ever work with Sleet? Four. Four? If you asked him to come somewhere, would he? <laughs> <laughs> if you asked your god to walk down to the lake shore, would they? Hmm? Depends on the god. Depends who's asking. I mean, I, I can't hear, but I, I say, sleep must have come when they took the treasure from Treasure Town. That's it. Sleep must have come when you stole our treasure from Treasure Town. I point south. And pauses for a moment and nods its head and goes, mm -hmm. Sleet came to us, told us to bring it to her, him, or, or else. We do not. Sleet is not a member of our pack, and we are not a member of his. And you don't have any way to contact him. He always comes to you. Why would we contact? Why? Wh what? Why? Who? Why? Who would want to? What? What's hmm. wrong with you? Why would you know. want to go talk to that infernal beast? Do you know what? Do you know the word knight? As day? No, like a warrior. Warrior, I know this word. Hmm. Foolhardy type. Notions of honor and glory. Young warrior, yes. Yes, well, sometimes old too. <laughs> <laughs> Young warrior, foolish warriors do not grow old. <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky, eh? Maybe where you come from. Just for the record, Sleet is is a male dragon, correct, Neil? Yes, they, they use male pronouns. I sometimes mess it up, but that's only because I'm an idiot. So, um, you know, it, it sounds like the, the not. Does that matter in the least? Like, who cares if it's a boy or a girl? It's a dragon. It does not matter. Well, uh, it sounds like. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Ryan. Go on. I mean, I'm, I'm continuing to talk with the Knoll, but if you want to throw in something. That's yeah, fine. so it's, it sounds like they don't mind us killing him and they'll show us his lair, but they're not willing to offer any real assistance. And they, they don't really have lines of communication. Like, the Sleet shows up and tells them what to do. Yeah, so would would Manji be willing to come with us to fight it? I assume not, but... I think I'll tell... Would... Tell Manji that we wish to speak with him. We'll be here for... What, another ten suns? How many more days are we here? Fourteen, I think, maybe. Fourteen, yeah. You who have... killed our... giant... Why would we... Why would Manji come speak with you? Does he not wish to meet... the giant slayers? Mm. Look, if the... I shrug. If the Nulls seek to survive our... Uh, our presence here, then they'd be uh, best to form alliances with us and... A meeting with their leader would go a long way. I can't promise that if they don't extend the hand, that I will extend mine. If you wish to s survive the coming months, you would do well to ally yourselves with us. 
I totally didn't hear all of what he was saying there. <laughs> I'll do. Give, give this message to, uh, to Manji. And um, let's, give it a, let's give it a trinket as well. Yeah, what trinkets do we have on hand? We've given them tinder boxes. I don't know if they need more tinder boxes. <clears throat> I should have uh, saved those nasty bronze daggers. What do give I away have? as old gifts. We gave them yeah. a whistle, right? I'll give them a javelin. Seems fair. Do they salt their food? I have two pounds of salt on me. I think mm. a javelin seems like a more... Because uh, they use spears, right? But this is clearly a better spear, so... I shall give... I shall uh, hand and all one of my javelins off my back. It takes it, turns it over, licks the, the point of it, um, can, cuts his thumb on it a little bit, um, and then turns around and walks away. All right, I guess we go back to waiting. I head back into the, and I just frustrated walk back Where, to the fort. Where's Yaramir? Have we seen him at all? No. Am I not with you? I no, assumed you, you were out doing your ley line stuff. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I if you're, if you're not, if you want to be there, that's fine. I just, I assumed you weren't because you were muted the whole time. I mean, you would have heard the horn go off and you probably would have wandered back, no? Yeah, uh, just, I, assumed I, I assumed was, Yaramir was here. I just okay. assumed I was there. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Yaramir, would it be possible for if, you if, to... If you'd have rolled initiative, I was going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> Yaramir, would you, would you be able to set up an alarm around the keep? Mm, I can for a number of hours. I've tried to create more permanent magic. Uh, I've not had success doing this yet. I could try again. Hmm. Either way, I think some sort of alarm to make sure that they're not trying to sneak into the keep would be in order. I'm not hmm. too worried about the gnolls, but that doesn't mean that we should go careless. Uh, sure. I will give it best effort. Thank you. Well, William, do we want to go embarrass you some more? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. It's it's like at some point William just stopped having anything to say in response. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm just kicking a down puppy. Totally defeated at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. I actually don't have any silver wire or bells left. I used them up when I tried my experiment in the past. Um, is there any reason to think that I might be able to do this um, without the material components? To create an alarm spell without the material components? Yeah, kind of like a more permanent glyph type of thing. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. I used them up in my failed attempt. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I'd probably give up on this rather quickly. Okay. Okay. Let me make some more die rolls. You guys head back to the keep and uh, continue to wait. The very next day, there is a nice big fat blizzard that lasts for three days. We can train in the keep though, it's big enough, right? Yeah, definitely. You are mostly unaffected by the blizzard. What do I have in my inventory? I don't fuck, I have nothing because I'm weak as shit. Weather patterns. Do, 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 do. So we're just killing another two weeks. Let's see if either Manji or Zaz show yeah, up. Yeah, I'm waiting for Neil to tell me how long time passes before something interrupts, and then I'm gonna uh, roll some stuff and do some things. All right, so you've got like at least a week um, because you've got okay. like three days in a blizzard and a few days on the other end. So what are you so doing? For the, for the three days of blizzard, I'm kind of stuck in the in the tower. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna continue researching that um, spell for the resin. Let's get some rolls. They uh, choose like pretty strong. 12 is still not a good one. Nope. Oh, <laughs> okay. No. Nope. Oh, oh, wow. Those are those are some pretty good rolls to fail on. Okay. Yeah. Um, I... Okay. So I... I'm going to... 
How much rope do you have, Grimes? Grimes, how much rope do you have? Uh, 100 feet of silk rope. Mm, that's not very much. Uh, what do you think uh, would happen if I dumped the rope in water? Like the icy water of ocean? It'd probably freeze. Would it break if I pulled it back up? I don't think so. I don't know. Hmm. Do you have any bottles of wine left? Uh, there's some mm-hmm. stashed away. Mind. This is a bad idea. Glass would break before anything else happened due to pressure. I'll come back on this later. Um, okay, so I give up on on creating some amber for myself. Um, we'll age it differently somehow, and uh, or or we'll just keep researching that spell later. Um, I begin building, like, I get, like, the, the fresh snow going. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just begin kind of, like, piling it up in huge balls. I think for the... <clears throat> I get, like, big, like, torso, my torso, like, five-foot balls of snow. And I'm just oh, my. For a day. And I get about three of them. Um, and... I then, um, I guess, begin trying to find a nice open area that I can get a, a good uh, uh, focus. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I cast Detect Magic, um, and for the rest of the day, I begin kind of searching for an area here near Salt Port where kind of like the, the, the magic of Caldonia is at its strongest. Uh, I want to try to find a, a good center. And I, I can take, it's a new day, yes it is. <laughs> so I can take um, like five Detect Magics, four okay. Detect magic. Sure. <clears throat> and what do you do with these Detect Magics? Um, so I put them on and I, I begin observing just kind of like the ambient. The, you've talked about the, these fields of energy um, that are around Caldonia, right? And mm-hmm. like when there's the when we're in the fresh trees, there's this like secondary field. Well, I, we're, we're far enough away from the fresh trees, hopefully, that there's less interference. Um, and uh, I, I begin just kind of like using the detect magic to look at this field. I'm trying to find like the the strongest point of it. I want to find a point of just like intense magic. Um, and assuming I find it, I'm going to begin, um, I'm going to take like a walking stick and I'm going to begin like semi-permanently placing a, um, a magical focus here. I'm going to begin that, that seven pointed star that I use to focus my, my magics. And I'm going to align it with, um, with magical components to like help keep it um, once I've scratched it into the ice. <coughs> and so I have I have iron powder and grasshopper's legs and I can grind up a pearl um, and I have some phosphorescent um, uh, moss that's in this this rod. Um, I can I can grind up one of these clay hands and and as I'm going I'm I'm kind of creating a a, a focal point at this strong um, area of magic. Um, and this is probably like a long like. This is like a long process, right? So maybe I find this point that day. Next day, I come back and begin. Oh, let me make some rolls before we get too far down this rabbit hole. Oh, you said I had like a week or something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, so okay. it's just that the, the 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 focal points are are not to be found. Mm. Um, you you ser- you're searching the area for these focal points, kind of scouting around the the keep, um, maybe sure. even going into Saltport itself, and and there is nothing to be found. Mm. anywhere okay does the field of magic seem to like ebb and flow at all or is it fairly steady now that you've noticed that there's this persistent background radiation going on Mm -hmm. uh with careful inspection of examining like a single spot with the proper lighting um, using maybe like the that that like uh, skull lantern for for lighting in one area, yeah, you can yeah. you can see sort of like heat waves off of the ground, but in the magical field. So there is a little bit of variation through it, but it's kind of like a. It's very small. It's like a lo- it's a it's a very long wavelength, um, low like currents. low frequency. Yeah. Uh, or high wavelength, low frequency um, kind of field. All right. 
Cool. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I guess I'm a little disappointed by that, and I guess I kind of want to find a bigger one. I'd like to range out, but I want a companion before I do that. So um, maybe that's what I spend that first day doing, is I'm just, I'm gonna walk along this kind of like undulation until I find like the, the high point, the, 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 the highest amplitude of one of these waves. Even if it might not be a, like a, a, a great focal point, it'll be like with the one I use. Um, and then I begin the next day, like uh, making that kind of semi-permanent um, uh, focus mm -hmm. uh, based on this this uh, this amplitude in the in the magical wave. And um, I think at the at the different points, I'll, I'll place different like um, magical focuses, right? Uh, so, you know, we, we have like ground up a grasshopper's leg and in, in, in one point and, and we have the, the iron powder in another. We, I grind up a pearl and place it in a, in a third. Um, I place uh, the, the owlbear feather and, and some, some wine that I snitch from, from Grimes at some point in a, in a fourth. Um, I place some, some, uh, some stomach bile and, and some, uh, some darts one and kind of mix them up into a nice pulpy disgusting thing to like to work into the the grooves that i've carved in the ice mm -hmm. um I, I mix the the, the the sculpture of the clay hands with some with some water and line that one kind of point in that. And uh, finally, I take the uh, the resin I've collected and, and put it in, in some of the other places. And I begin the like long process of rolling these huge balls of snow into the center point of this of this. Uh, um, <coughs> excuse me, of this uh, focus. And uh, I, I try like sna stacking them up on each other, which is probably very difficult for someone of my like six strength. Um, mm -hmm. So it really is, is, a <laughs> is a lot of trial and error to like roll this shit up the side of itself. And they probably get disformed a little bit and weird. But okay. I, my, my intention here is to create something that's like one and a half a, the size of a Yaromir. Right. Uh, in terms of just mass. Okay. And uh, so maybe like a full William. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I begin um, carving. Uh, it's not so much carving because this part is snow and less ice. Um, but I, I begin taking. I take out um, uh, a, like a stick that I've that I've put some bristles on. I find like some some uh, pine needles from the coniferous trees. Make kind of like a makeshift brush. Um, and I take the. Um, uh, I take the uh, the ash kind of mixture from a fire, and in um, in a kind of like that that ashy mixture that I use for the scrolls, um, I begin painting onto it the uh, symbology uh, from my own body, um, starting first in the in the center. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, the the hypnotic pattern um, just mm -hmm. prominently in the in the center of the body, um, towards the top, um, I place the the seven pointed star of detect magic around its eyes, um, and the the feet of it. I, I create the they're on the bottom underneath. I, I create the wavy lines um, of levitation, um, and I just begin creating all the the necessary things that a uh, an automaton may need magic to see, right? For detect magic, um, mm -hmm. the hypnotic pattern kind of as this battery of the of the creature. Mm -hmm. um, I I create the the levitation to give it auto motion. Um, <clears throat> I give it the uh, the symbol uh, for the the grasping hand along its sides so that it, that it can it can move itself. Um, and I, I try to make sure that there's time for this to dry. Um, and with whatever leftover material component I have um, from the crystal rod, um, I begin tracing that all with the phosphorescent moss. Um, and I let that set for a night um, in preparation. And the next morning, I, I begin memorizing um, all of these spells. Um, <coughs> I memorize jump, levitate, um, bind to keep it together. I memorize a hypnotic pattern twice and um, detect magic twice um, and Maximilian's Earth and Grasp twice. Um, okay. 
that next day is spent in just like deep ritual and meditation um, as I um, begin casting these spells and trying to imbue them into each of these symbols that I've drawn on the creature uh, or on the on the the, the snow um, in front of me uh, at the end of like probably I'm imagining this taking seven or eight hours right of of work um, I I begin um, placing I, I dig like a little bit of, a, of an entrance and I place the uh, bottled, um, the, the jarred elemental as it swirls. And I begin trying to like tie all of the, the magic that I've been imbuing here for the last few hours into it. And as the last part of the ritual, I take out the, um, the cross um, and cut the string to another world and tie it to this elemental and just kind of like with the last of like my energy for that day, just shove it into the like center of this thing's um, mass as kind of like a heart. Wow. <clears throat> okay. That is a lot of stuff. You've, uh, and you have the, you have the jar with you, right? Is the, the jar? Yeah. I, okay. Wait, are uh, you shoving the whole jar in there? Like, are you the uncorking jar the jar and then just shoving the, the jar in? And I'm like oh breaking my God, the jar so cool. and shoving through the the cross, the ankh into oh it. Oh my God. As I, as I cut its string to tie to the elemental and this, this beast. The yar and a half, yar and a half, the, the Yaromir and a half jarred snowman uh, begins to shudder. It begins to shake. Um, and it begins to twitch around the, the, the balls of it kind of spinning <laughs> in various circles back and forth. Uh, it, it takes a shuddering like lurch forward, almost toppling itself and then a shuddering lurch back. Um, and then it just sort of like rocks back and forth in a little <laughs> ball, uh, pattern for a little while. <clears throat> um, I, I probably am just like exhausted from this ritual, right? I imagine it being very similar to the identify spell, right? I probably like lost uh, like most of my con to the point where I can barely move, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I just kind of look at it and I'm like, um, Cat, let's go back to the tower and command it to, to take me back to the tower. It starts kind of shuddering and sliding along the ground in the direction that you have indicated. And I trudge along behind it, like slowly and <laughs> like, should, like very, very weakly. You probably see like <laughs> Ferris watching from like watching on the walls and he's just wondering what weird shit Yaramir is doing. It's been like scribing all this, this. Is it just like a big ball of snow? It's like a big, it's like the base of a snowman, but it's like five feet tall. Oh, it's like three balls on top of each other, right? Oh, I thought they were balls side by oh. side. I think it's a snowman. I think you're oh, made a snowman. Oh, it's a little right? snowman. Okay. Does I, it thought, have arms? I thought the balls were side by side. Never mind. No, uh, I spent some time pushing them on top of each other. Yeah, did you so give it like beady eyes and a carrot nose, or does it just not have a face? You don't have no. carrots. Does it's it have cool. arms, though? Its arms are this earth and grass, right? Yeah, but like the grow snow arms, like uh, no, not that you see yet. But okay. I mean, you've spent all of like five minutes observing this creature. Its full okay. potential is entirely so, unknown. So instead, I, I was imagining like a ball rolling after Yarmir instructed to. But instead, it's I see like BB this, this it's... three stack of of balls just start to like slide along the ground. Yeah. If they're... <laughs> so when you when you come into the courtyard. <laughs> and I turn around and see like, what the fuck did you do? And like, draw my sword and like, start walking over to... I probably like, I probably can manage like, it is okay, it is a friend. And like, basically all but pass out in the courtyard at that point. Because I've had to walk from pretty far away, like all the way back to the tower with one constitution. Yeah, so I think I sort of like, stop, but you know, hold my up, hold my sword. No warmth points, I guess. Like you, this is like the situation of like I probably am just at like zero or like negative warmth points by the time I get back. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> you probably like drained all your warmth trying to like you're working with ice elementals, right? You got to be cold for that. Yeah. What is this, Yaramir? It's a friend. I made it. Fer Ferris comes down in the courtyard, like this collapsed Yaramir, and like picks him up by the arm and says, "Either way, you need sleep." 
Yes. You can you can tell us all about your creation later, but for now, you, you let's get you some rest. You're no good if you die on us. I uh, I stand watching the thing for a a long period of time, like two hours. Does it move when Greg's not telling it to do anything, or is it just like statuesque? Nope, it's just a snowman, just hanging out. So, when I everyone's gone. Very similar to like when I had the elemental in the in the jar, and it would just like swirl. I imagine it's like little balls just kind of like rotate in place. So after <laughs> uh, an the directions, and uh, you, you're all gone. I think I, I, I like sort of get a bit closer, and I say, "Move," and then take a step back. Does it do anything? No. <laughs> Move. Like the rest of the party, it doesn't listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think after like putting Yarmir to bed, uh, Ferris comes back out, and he feels a little bit bad because he's been taunting William a lot recently. And um, mm -hmm. like William's gotten to the point where he looks a little broken, right? He's not even Aww. like he's not even yelling back anymore. No. And and I think Ferris like wants to adapt his tactics here. And instead of doing like I think the way they've been sparring is like just doing live matches and Ferris occasionally like berating him for doing things wrong. And instead he wants to um he, he's okay. kinda of gotten to this point where we've been yeah. doing this for a few weeks and he's kind of starting to recognize patterns in where William like leaves himself open or ways that he's like consistently winning these fights. And I, I think he wants to like sort of go through these in more like step by step. Like, um, it's it's like we've been playing live chess games against each other, trying to get better. And mm -hmm. now he wants to like set up actual circumstances and just like run through a couple of moves of chess at a time. Mm. And like he wants to run them through like drills instead. And he kind of like he doesn't become nice, but he doesn't like berate him either. He's just kind of matter of fact now. Now that you're um, now that you are a full fledged master, you can actually coach. Coach yeah, and I, I don't, I can't help you with like the specifics of a longsword, right? Like you yeah. know more about a longsword than I do, but I, I think I recognize sort of some of the situations, like some of the the pitfalls that you're falling into, and how I'm consistently winning these fights, and I'm kind of drilling you through um some of the mistakes you're making and trying to help you recover from them. That sounds good, but uh, Neil, one thing I want to try with the snowman. Mm hmm. After a while, I, I, yeah, it's hard to move. It doesn't move. I take a step back and I, I want to like faux swing my sword at it and I was going to stop right before I hit it. But does it do anything to block me? It doesn't do anything at all. Okay. So then I, I guess after a couple of hours of watching, I sheathe my sword and go back to the keep. All right. We're still at the keep, aren't we? Isn't this in the courtyard? Yeah, yes. I was in the courtyard, but I go back inside. Okay. Uh, Grimes. Right. Yeah, I think I follow William in. I've been sitting like on the far side of the courtyard with a crossbow, eyeing this whole scene from afar. Okay, so maybe I'll as talk William, to you. As William's, so I probably watch William mess with it, just sitting there, ready to shoot it if it moves. And I guess I walk with William back into the, into the keep. What do you make of this, Grimes? It spooks me the hell out. Is it, wa it was shoot? moving, right? Yes, I was watching it from the wall. It slid it, along the street. It followed Yaramir in here. Can we really trust him to control that thing? It doesn't look much different from the ice elementals that attacked us on the tundra. You've been trusting him to control the rest of his magics. Why would this be any different? I don't trust seems... him to control his magics. Yet, I mean, how many times has he cast a spell in your presence? You don't go ducking behind barrels every time he casts a spell. This seems uh, different. I, yeah. <laughs> Does I'm it not know? Sure. How much do we know about magic, really? Trust, look. He's the expert in this field. Maybe we should let our, our prejudices sit aside for a bit and trust him to, to handle this situation himself. I trust him, but that doesn't mean that we can't be uh, ready for something to go wrong. There's nothing wrong with being cautious. I wonder, though, I wonder if the breath of a, a dragon would, would damage that snowman. I doubt it. it. Might just make it stronger. Possible. It doesn't have any arms, though, so I, I fail to see the point of this thing. Maybe it's modular. He can he can add to it later. Maybe. I, those, those ice elementals didn't have arms. And you know how he... They sure bit. That's true. You know how he spends all day looking at himself in the mirror sometimes? You talking about Ferris? No, I mean Yarmir. Oh. Well, it's me yeah. now. He gave me his mirror. And Ferris <laughs> kind of like pulls it out. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it, it, it always struck me as rather... Um, Self-serving and uh, almost masturbatory in a way. Maybe, maybe that's what he's and been doing with this thing. It's just showing off. This, as this, so he doesn't have to. <laughs> that's not what I meant, Grimes. <laughs> Handle himself. 
<laughs> Seems awesome. Well, he cool. did it wrong in that in that case because there's no arms on this thing. We've already established oh, that. Dude. Guys, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I mean, that seems uncomfortably cold. I, I don't think this this. I didn't I mean it literally, Faris. <laughs> you'd think after a hundred years you'd know the difference between figuratively and literally. Are you a hundred years old? No. I'm oh, forty-four. Like, oh. That makes me feel old. Look at this guy. Look at his fuck. Look at his fucking skin, Grimes. Look at his yeah. hair. Look at his veil. <laughs> it's, it's really starting <laughs> to piss me off. Pretty boy over here. What can I say? I age gracefully. Hmm. Nah, you haven't. You haven't had a hard year in your life. I can tell by looking at you. <laughs> do you want to bet? Yeah, I do. Uh, well, let's see here. And Ferris like starts listing off his life ever since he moved <laughs> to the Frostlands and like his day-to-day -day activities and how like he had to go like sort of like carefully through this freezing snow every day. He didn't have warmth gear when he first moved down there. And he had to like kill animals and like skin them himself and like make hide armor out of them so that he yeah. could finally like not freeze to death. So I think William's frustration is boiling over into a aggression towards Faris and it's not justified, but perhaps when you start coaching me rather than just kicking my ass every time, it'll, it'll go away. Yeah. Can you really handle letting Ferris coach you? No, well, that's the thing. I'm scared, <laughs> of showing, scared of showing weakness slightly, but I'm less concerned about Faris than I am about Yaramir or Grimes. Uh, oh. Maybe if you'd ask Grimes for some training advice, you'd actually get somewhere. You're a prisoner. I can't really be doing that. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go to our break. And when we come back, we'll see what the rest of your time here does. So see you guys cool. on the other side of a break. Bye-bye.